Hi, this is Dr. Jim Hefner, and in today's video we are looking at the upper limb tension test for the ulnar nerve. When performing any limb tension testing, we're looking for three positive signs. The first one is reproduction of the patient's primary symptoms, so it's the symptoms they came in with. The second one, we're looking for a side-to-side -side difference. And then finally, we're going to be trying to change the symptoms by moving a distant component. With the ulnar nerve specifically, there are a bunch of different steps that go into play here. I'm going to show the way I choose to perform it, um, but you can also go in any order as long as you're doing all these steps to the process. First with the ulnar nerve, I choose to wind up the wrist and hand with wrist and hand extension. Preferably, I'm looking at the fourth and fifth digits because we know the ulnar nerve travels around the medial side of the forearm. So winding up with wrist and hand extension. Next, shoulder depression by punching your hand down into the table. Then you're gonna abduct and externally rotate the humerus. And then finally, pronation and elbow flexion. Generally with this test, the patients will report a reproduction of their neural symptoms, but remember to use those three positive tests.